Nate, just what you can say about getting above 500 overall at 12 and 11 at this point in the season. It's really important. I mean, we know kind of the rough patch that we went through in January, and uh, we knew we'd come out the other side and be okay, but um, we had to work at it, you know, and we had to learn from, from the losses and continue to get better, and I think we're starting to hit our stride a little bit here, and hopefully we can keep it going on Saturday. Most of those wins coming in conference and arguably the toughest conference in D2 and the NE10, 9-6, and six, and knowing that you have control of your destiny at this point to rise into the top five, especially with a game coming up against Franklin Pierce that's right there with you right now. Sure, yeah, and I think it's important we just take it one day at a time. I mean, right now, that's all you can do. You know, continue to, to get better, continue to work as a, as a team, and continue to grow as a team, um, and then take it one game at a time. Obviously, we know it's a big one on Saturday. It's great to be home and Finn's frenzy on Saturday as well, so the crowd will be great, and uh, it'll be an awesome atmosphere to, to get a win in. Having Xavier Wilson and Mike DePersia coming up here in a second, just what you could say about what they've done not only tonight but this season? They've just been consistent, honestly. I mean, it's two, a word that I think of automatically when I think of those two guys, just showing up every day, continuing to work. Um, X is, has done a great job of embracing uh, that forward position in the, in the offense, and you're starting to see that pay off as he gets more comfortable with that. And Mike, I mean, just a – a true floor general with nine assists, one turnover today, six rebounds, a couple steals, a few points. So uh, it was great to see him you know, kind of back at, at how he was playing before his hand injury. And uh, I think, you know, you saw what he can do in our offense as well today. You mentioned the Finns frenzy, knowing that you're going to have the Beeville band and a lot of different things going on with the community. Just what that means to have that type of environment here on the hill and just what it means for the Heights this it's, weekend. It's huge. I mean, you get a, a family atmosphere here, and there's not a bad seat in the house. You know, high quality basketball that you get to to get to be a part of, and um, not to mention, hopefully, we hit some threes and we can get some t-shirts out there <laughs> on Saturday as well. Um, you know, and having the band at the game, I think, will be awesome. I, that'll be the first time since uh, I've been back here that we've had a band in the stands and I think that just kind of changes the atmosphere as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be a great day.